Hey guys, welcome to my new YouTube video and in today's video I'm going to talk about the things I want to see in Doctor Who Series 12. Like if you've seen my previous video, the five feelings I want to see return in Series 12. Now this is technically an update where I'm not going to mention any villains, I'm probably just going to mention what I want to see in this series. So, let's get started. The first thing I want to see in this new series is the story arcs, like for example, Bad Wolf, Tortured, Throat Saxon, Stolen Planets, uh, Cracks in the Universe, Death of the Doctor, um, The Vault from Series 10, Missy in Series 8, just any story arc. I would like to see a brand new story arc in Series 12. Next I want to see the Doctor, I want just being more angry at the villains, like she, she needs to become more like the dark side of the doctor not the dark side but when i like it when the doctor goes angry like he gets frustrated angry and she threatens the villains i like it when that happens we didn't see much of that in series 11 simply because the villains weren't really that threatening to be honest i'm just being honest so don't give me any hate because i enjoyed series 11 but yeah the doctor needs to show more of um the angry side so Doctor, so yeah. Next on my list, I'm going to talk about Yasmin Khan. Uh, Yaz in series 11 didn't have much to do, really, she was just there most of the time. I think she should, you know, be out there. Like, she has some good moments, you know, like free time, like three good moments, but other than that, she was just boring. Here's um, an article about the hints of Yaz having a story arc in series 12. Um, I think it's a good idea for Yes to have a story up because Series 11 was mainly focused on Graham and Ryan in their relationship and Nan dying, Grace dying. But all we saw of Yes, she's, just, she's always in the background. Yes, yes, um, yes, she had some like special episodes like Demons of the Punjab and Remain a Family on Arjunich in the UK. But we need to see more of her character. Just, just give me more of Yes. Yeah. The next thing I want to talk about is units. In Resolution, it revealed that unit is being put on hold from international partners or you know funding of you know what I mean. And I think unit is a good time for unit to return. It could be like leading to a story up in series twelve. Like why is unit put put on hold? Like you know, it could be the master or Missy or the Wally putting unit on hold. Like they can. Or they could be underground, like some fans have been saying, that like, Unit's been underground. So, yeah, Unit definitely needs to return, especially with the Brigadier. Like, just like the old days of the Brigadier and the Third Doctor. And the next, I'm going to talk about two-part episodes. Two-part episodes need to come back. I don't mind standalone episodes, but some stories felt rushed if they're not... If you know what I mean, they need to be in two parts, like in classic series. There was some that nearly every single story was a multi-part story, a multi-episode story, and two-part stories struck out the episode, and it gives you more time to get used to the characters and uh, the story. So I think two-part episodes need to return in this series. Um, basically, like even the finale, finale is always better than two parts. The next I want to talk about companions exit. In series 12, I want to see one or two companions leaving the Doctor. Like, I don't mind three companions, but I think, because Yasmin's always in the background, someone's always going to be in the background if there's too many companions. So if a companion leaves this series, it'll, it'll be like, you know, so the Doctor can get used to the other two, or, you know what I mean, like the Doctor can just move on like she always done. If you know what I mean by that, like the companions need to um, come and go. Like if you if you know what I mean, like every companion comes and go. And I think in series twelve, a companion should leave by the end of the series. Like at least one or two companions need to leave so the Doctor can be another new companion, I guess. So um, yeah, so I think one of the companions should die, not in a horrible way, but they showed the. So the 13 can, you know, you know what I mean, like a companion needs to leave in a very emotional way, so 13 can come more, grow more as a character, 
if you know what I mean. Anyway, that's the end of my video. Hope you enjoyed. Give me a thumbs up if you like enjoyed the video. A subscribe if you're new. Doctor Who videos be updated, uploaded regularly. Probably twice or once a week, you know, whenever I can be bothered. If I've got anything to say, basically, or if I can be bothered to do the video then and there. But I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all next time.